Today's video is all about winter accessories and must-haves for your stroller wagon. Hey everybody, welcome back. As the intro said, today is going to be all about accessories and must-haves for your stroller wagon. Now, all right, so let's get started. Um, I have a lot of product, so where do we start? Okay, let's start with skis. That's right, stroller wagon skis. Now, I have owned this particular set of skis for four years now. I think this, this will be my fourth winter with them. Um, my first winter, I used them with a Keens 7S, and I will pop that video up top for you guys to take a look at. Now, these do fit Larktail, and they do fit the Wonderful W4 Lux. Since we're talking about snow, let's talk about weather covers, rain covers. Um, but there have been a lot of people looking for a full coverage rain cover, meaning it covers the entire body of the stroller wagon. So I found this universal one off of Amazon, and let me say, it is gigantic. It is huge. And yes, this is compatible with the wonderful W4 Lux. In fact, it is so big, I am sure it's compatible with any stroller wagon of any size out on the market. It comes with a little travel bag. So yes, it's big, but it works. It does the job, it does what it needs to do. It fits great in the included carry pouch and it fits in the Larktail Caravan storage basket. It also fits in the Wonderful storage basket. All right, next, let's talk about stroller mittens. Um, there are so many different variations and options and designs and colors and whatever. There are so many options available to you. Honestly, here's my recommendation for you. Buy what you like. Buy something that you find aesthetically pleasing but also functional. The one I got is the Stroller Hand Muff. Um, and I love this one. You can separate it into two individual mitten areas if you want to. I decide to keep mine big and open. I love this one. It is functional. It is easy to install. It is easy to remove. Um, it also has a cell phone pocket on the top. Um, and it does have Velcro. So I can pop my phone in, Velcro it closed, and not worry about it falling in the snow or the rain or the puddles. All right, moving on to my next recommended accessory. For years now, I have been sharing the love for Versabrella with you guys. Um, I love my Versabrella. I've had a few now, and this is the XL one. And as much as I love it, it is not ideal for rain. Um, so what do you do if you are out and about and you need an umbrella for your stroller wagon? Not necessarily for your kiddos, but for you as you are pushing your stroller wagon. Well, this is a golf cart umbrella holder. Um, there are several different options off of Amazon. The particular one that I'm using is linked and listed down below in the comment section or the description box for you guys. Um, so you're gonna install this on the handlebar or the frame of your stroller wagon and then you are going to grab a straight handle umbrella and you are simply going to pop the handlebar into the opening of the holder and then you're gonna tighten up the latch on the inside which is what secures your umbrella to the holder itself so it doesn't flop around and then there you go you have a perfectly functional rain umbrella holder for your stroller wagon 
All right, next item I am so excited to share with you guys. So I've been scouring Amazon for one of these because I have been on the hunt. My kids love to be warm, they love to cuddle up with blankets, and I was convinced that somewhere there had to be a portable slash traveling heated blanket. Um, the reviews of these on Amazon have not been good, so I have been very hesitant to buy one. Um, but I got one and this is it. Now, things that I love about this, it's not very big. It's about three feet long by two feet wide, which means it is perfect as a lap blanket for one kiddo. Um, now, when you get this, you will see that there is a zipper compartment on the side. Now, in this zipper area, this is where your cord and your control panel is for your heated blanket. Now, the control panel itself has an on-off button and then three different settings. There's a low, a medium, and a high. What makes this different from other heating blankets is that this does not get super, super hot. But I think that that is actually beneficial for a stroller, wa stroller wagon heated blanket, um, especially when our kiddos are using this. So I plugged this into my battery pack and I left it on for an hour and the highest that I got it was about 106. Now that's pretty hot. That, that is pretty hot, but it's not as hot as some electric heated blankets get. Um, so that is something to be aware of. Now, what I love about this is once you have it plugged into your battery pack, you can simply take the cords and the battery pack, plop it back into this zippered area or compartment of the blanket itself, and close it up. That way your kids are not gonna sit there and press the buttons and mess with the temperature setting. Um, it is super, super comfy and cozy and so soft. I love this so much. All right, now not everybody is going to be using their stroller wagons during the winter. I get that and that is okay. Some of you just decide that that's not for you or maybe there's just too much snow outside. So what do you do with your stroller wagon if you're not using it? Go on Amazon, go grab yourself a barbecue cover. Now this one that I got, I will link down below in the description box for you guys. It was the cheapest and the smallest one that I could find and it is number one, huge. It fits my lark tail. It also fits my wonderful W4. Actually, I think if I put both stroller wagons together, this will still fit both of them. Um, and the reason I got this particular one is because it did have a pull string at the bottom so that I could kind of cinch it close and prevent any critters from climbing up into my stroller wagon. However, because I got the cheapest one, <laughs> that pull string broke the first time I tried to use it. So I don't know if it's just mine that's faulty or if I was too rough with it or if I got what I paid for. Um, but still a great idea. Uh, covering up your stroller wagon when you are not using it will prevent a lot of dust and debris building up on your stroller wagon. It will also deter rodents, cats, pets, whatever you may have from gaining access to your stroller wagon. I have seen it in the stroller wagon chat groups more than once where mice or rats get into stroller wagons and they eat the fabric and make nests in it. It's gross. Don't do it. Protect your stroller wagon. They are not cheap. Okay, next item that I am so excited to share with you guys is the Silver Cross foot muff and it is perfect in the Larktail Caravan. This does not fit in the wonderful W4. And the reason I love this, you guys, is because it fits like a glove. This little head portion right here that normally goes over your kiddo's head, I actually fold it back and slip it over the seat. It keeps it in place. 
all of these slots that the straps fit through line up perfectly. Um, and then also it is waterproof. The zipper itself does have that rubberized cover so water is not gonna get in. Um, and then the other thing that I really love about this is that if you have a tall kiddo that is going to sit in this, you can open up the bottom footwell area so that their feet fit through. So even if you have the sides zipped up so that they stay warm and cozy, the bottom foot area can stay open so your long kiddos don't feel all confined or restricted. All right, the other thing about this is that there are magnets at the top that help keep your foot muff organized or open, or if your kiddo wants just the bottom portion of their legs covered, but they want the top part open so they can use their hands, this is perfect. I've owned a few foot muffs, and you guys, this is my favorite by far. All right, last but not least, my favorite winter accessory for your stroller wagon is a boot tray or a shoe organizer or a shoe tray, whatever you wanna call it. Pop this in the footwell area of your lark tail and it will prevent all of the snow, the mud, the dirt, and the debris getting trampled in the bottom. And voila. All right, you guys, and that is it for my winter accessory and must-haves. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As usual, links for everything is in the description box. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave me some love. Thank you for watching.